Okay, so here we have the Series 3 Predators figures, um, and they consisted of the classic, undamaged, um, the Predator Hound, and the Elder. There was also what is been classed in the same series, the Series 3, sort of put, been put in that category, whoops, is the Gort Mask SDCC exclusive. Um, all these figures are plagued with the, the articulation problem. This fella, the Masked Classic, being the only one out of all of them that I managed to snap the arm on. Not happy about that being the one that everybody wants. Um, quite hard to get hold of as well and, and easily the hardest to get hold of out of Series 3. He has the removable backpack and plasma cannon and extendable blades. He also has a few trophies around him in the sense of the skull that's there, the spine and the necklace of all the little bones. Exactly the same goes for the Gort exclusive, SDCC exclusive being the mask that come, was the unused mask which they thankfully changed um, when it came to making the film. I don't like I don't like it to be honest. I just don't I don't like the two eyes being how they are and I, I don't know if it's just become accustomed to the, the classic look of the Predator and but for some reason I just don't like it really. Um exactly the same in the sense of what he comes with, the retractable blades, the the belts. Um, the one brilliant thing he does come with is a skull and spine. Just just adds a little bit of reason why you're buying exactly the same figure again. All in all, it's a, it's a, um, it's something that you'd want as a fan just to say that you've got it, but no real reason for them to brought that one out. The elder comes with a removable sword. The um, little flintlock gun that he gives Danny Glover's character at the end of Predator 2. None of these have the, the panel on the arm that can open and it comes with loads and loads of little skulls and bits and bobs and they've all got the plasma cannon on there and a removable backpack and they all have retractable blades on them. And of course the interesting figure that came out with Series 3 is the inclusion of the Predator Hound. Not too much of a fan of this figure. I'm glad they did it. There's no there's no um, fault on that and if they hadn't have done it we'd all be going oh we want the Predator Hound but um, he's good. He's got loads of articulation all over him. The thing that I don't like about it and it's the only reason I don't like it is the, the big gaps in the joints. Um, I know you need them if you didn't have them, you won't be able to put them into poses and everything. But I just don't like the the fact that it looks so plated, as in there's that chunk, you know. And but but you need it. You need to have them there f so you can do the articulation. I understand that. I just don't like the 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 look of it really, and the fact that they're such different. You can tell that someone's painted that section. Someone else has painted that section. There's no there's no flow to it. It's just that's that chunk, that's that chunk, that's that chunk and they're all bolted together but I like it, I like the fact that they brought him out it's, it makes a nice change to having you know something apart from just the usual predators and like I say if they, if they didn't have done it we'd have moaned and made them do it so but that's series 3 which are the classic the Gort Mask SDCC exclusive, which we put in the category of S, um, Series Three, only because it came around about the same out at about the same time. The Elder, and of course the Predator Hound. Okay, guys, cheers.